got the loosey-goosey on the screen there that we saw earlier. I'm excited for this one. So let's talk a little bit. If you're just joining us now, right, we've got teams split into different waves. This one is a six-team wave. Uh, these folks are playing three different rounds of Swiss, and your goal is to be top two in your group craft. That's got to be pretty tough to do. It is really tough. Uh, playing just even like wave A was like pretty crazy earlier because it's just like a mixed bag of teams. Because it's like you never know. You could like go against like a team near your level or just a team just like stacked full of players. But wave D, as far as I could tell, was just really stacked. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm excited. Hey, we've got talking about content creators, Glitch Cactus is in this group. Maybe we'll see his team on stage. Maybe. We've got some other superstars over here. But you know what? Before we fully get started here, Kraft, I want to say earlier today we played in a match, in a tiebreaker <laughs> match. We're going to do a truce right here and say we're putting that behind us. We're ready to do <laughs> some great commentary. I think it'll be a super good time. I mean, you put up a great match earlier. I uh, appreciate that. And likewise, likewise. That Sorry. squeezer, we were talking before about how your squeezer gameplay is just, man, I, I saw you go 19 and 1 at some point. Was that right? Yeah, I think my highest today was 24 and 7. <laughs> I played against, because see, one of the tiebreaker matches is against like a friend group of ours. So I was like, I need to lock in. Oh, we yeah. could not lose. We went to game three. It was insane. Hey, you know who else is locking in is Element ERM as we're opening game wow. one. Clamblitz on is Barnacle. That a squiffer I see there. <laughs> He's a squiffer. What do you think about that? I like to call it Squiffcaster, and uh, I think it's pretty hype. Like, you ever seen like a squiffer hit some nutty shots with Zip? It's crazy. It is pretty wild. As we get started in neutral here, we do see Dowser Dooley's on the other side. I'm seeing some Zooka on either side crap. But what do you think is the key to a good push on a map? Like the key to the good push is you really need to get the enemy stacked. Because especially if you have like a weapon like a, a slosher or a range or like just anything in mid-range, you take their stack, you can control so much space from it. We're seeing a bloody opening here, but like Element right. ERM, like you said, is able to roll right into the stack. The ball's coming in from Milan in the first score. First blood to Element ERM. And they already have, they also have a wall set up on their left glass. That's also a very good power position to have as a wall weapon. I agree completely. Hey, with the 52 gal, that's the goal, right? We know the dude is so good at that as we see the edit rolling out, pushing Sig Rex back as some specials are coming out. The Dowser has another set of strikes at the ready to try and get some movement here for the other team. And they also have a Zuko on the side of Element ERM up right now. As Kobe's dogs looks like they're rolling here, a numbers advantage as they win a fight in mid, and it's only dude left in the stack. Look at one pick, dude, dude gets a dude, double. Dude going off with the wall, trying to hold down some space here, pressing back another one, and dude single-handedly kept that in neutral. Dude just single-handedly like just saved neutral for their whole team. Impressive as we see the Zuka coming back out from Kobe's dogs, trying to find a shot, can't quite. Now if you're in neutral here, as we see it's flipping rapidly back in the in the side of ERM, what do you have to do to break back in? Well, uh, really, you need to like get control at least the mid area. But a good way to do that is either have a teammate go mid and another pincer from like the alley, especially you can jump on those like on inkable blocks on the side for a slightly higher ground to shoot toward into mid. But really, like, just a good special like a Zuka or anything like that will just help take mid. Like, Zuka, especially Crab on this map, is very strong. I agree. As we see, man, this is a lot of purple. As 68, the amount that Element ERM has is maybe not quite enough to win you a game. So you're looking to maybe get another push off. Zuka can't quite find anything. Although, we see a fight in the street here as Lana and the Zuka are coming out. Dude will go down on one side, trade it back out. As numbers are still even here, this game is so bloody crapped. There's just so many kills happening in this game. It's just, like, it's just insane in mid right now because it's just constantly going back and forth. Like, there's never really like a defining team just holding mid for a long period of time. They're just constantly trading each other out or maybe one gets a pick and then the other side also just gets a pick. It's making for a close match, which is what we want to see more of here as Lana has that zip caster ready. Let's see if that squiff caster can maybe make some magic here. As we sustain in mid, still a lot of purple, but the bucket's going to be going down up front, possibly overextended, and Element ERM's going to be able to hold their own for now. Yeah, I think getting picks on the bucket is going to be the biggest thing for them here because they have three short-range shooters. This is the bucket. That's a rough matchup to fight against. Zuka helping to convert that to a double, and it looks like Element ERM is in trouble along the side. The zip cap, or the squiffer is going to get one, is going to zip, is going to get pinched, and my goodness, we might see a score from Kobe's dogs here. This is definitely looking like they're at least going to get points on the board here. How many? We'll have to see, though. 
We see the audience cheering. That is a burst of the basket there. However, they don't have too many more clams. They need three more to flip the lead, two more to flip the lead. Another pick up front. The shot's going to be the last one there. They don't see Lucky over here. The bucket on the side is going to play to a tie. It's going to get picked there, but we're looking at a one-point game. Yeah, they barely didn't have enough clams to get the push there. They didn't even see the bucket go top left, but they were just one clam short. I so. do like the positioning from it. Looks like the team was not Kobe's dogs, our correction. There's Ouroboros, Neo Kyo, I'm just gonna say Neo Kyo, is getting another double. A nice trade will keep numbers advantage. Just the shot is last for Element ERM. We see the strikes coming in. That's gonna be another score and the lead for Neo Kyo. And I was gonna see if the bucket is gonna take their top left. They might just lock them out for even longer. Here comes some more strikes. Element ERM is gonna need a special to break out at this point. Crazy, crazy. They do go oh. three down. Now, what do you think about the double strike comp? I think it's cooking for him right now. Double strike, I think, is pretty good on this map because this map is, like, really carpentalized. I cannot say that word for some reason. <laughs> hey, it's a tough but, one, especially after they changed it, right? They added the pit. They added this other stuff. Yeah, because, like, you have, like, the mid and the alleyways, and then you have the stack, and then you have to push forward to get to their core in their top left. Oh, an element here. Gets the ball in to take the lead. They did not need much to take the lead, but they got a lot, and Lana is able to get a nice big Huge double, double from Lana to secure it with five seconds left. Gets taken down up front, but who cares? That was such a terrific here play. Here comes a ton more clams coming and trying to stop the overtime. Oh my goodness, the edit is in a tough spot here, but we'll get a nice pick. You've got to go fast. This overtime timer is unforgiving on Barnacle, but two in the favor of Neo Kyo as they're going to be rolling into mid. Sigrex, though, is going to be able to shut one down, looking for another. Sigrex we'll get him. two! Oh, that timer's getting game. real low. That should be it for Element ERM taking a 1 0 lead. Wow, that was looking like a really tight game for a while, but ER Element and ERM just had some really strong pushes. That's exciting stuff, man. And look, we got the Lucy Goosey on the camera. <laughs> look at them all stonewalling us with that glare. They're like, there was never a doubt. There was never a doubt that they had that game. Never a doubt. They're too cool. That could be an album cover. Take your screenshots right <laughs> now, folks. Post it to Twitter. Be the first to sign your name on that Element ERM album cover. Dude, Milana, we've got some big names here, folks, and we are headed into game two. And game two, we're heading into TC Mako. Now, this is very interesting because AOE weapons are very strong in this map, but I didn't see Element ERM with any AOE weapons. They might have a lot more trouble on a map like Mako TC. Now, I, I, I agree with you. I think that they need a comp change in order to keep the success, especially since we saw how close that first game was. So if you're Element ERM, what would you change? Um, Element ERM? I mean, they already have a ton of pain, seeing how they have three shooters. I say you change... Not the zap, but probably either the shot or the gal for either like a blaster or a slasher at this point. V slosh, see that for sure. maybe like a range blaster, even like things like custom blasters very good on this map because they're going under the their ledges, especially like when you're pushing left, you could just splash down and launch it up there. It's got some good positioning, right? They can do some pretty funky stuff, and I think that that may be something they're gonna, that they're going to have to consider because on Neo Kyo's side, we saw that bucket, right? We saw some of that AOE chip stuff that can do funny stuff on the ledges, so we know that the other team has it. Uh, that could be an advantage for them going into this one. I think it's going to be a huge advantage, especially seeing how they have three shooters fighting to a bucket on this map. They're either going to have to like utilize a wall a lot on the stack if they can bomb it out, or they're gonna have to just find another way to flush the bucket out. They're running oh, they two went to the bucket. <laughs> Look at all these order weapons too on their side. That's fun. As uh, we get started, we see C and F for ERM. That's really the only comp change. Do you think that's enough for them? I'm not sure, especially for double bucket. I mean, Try and Vsauce are very strong in this map, and especially in Try keeping short range like shooters like very well in check. They were gonna have to get a lot more picks to make up for it, honestly. We're Although a huge charger pick right there. Yeah, another bloody opening too. Like you said, the charger getting a nice neutral flip. As we see, man, just some overextended members on either side getting picked off. But the early numbers, this huge fight on stack, you see, is flipped again to keep it in neutral. My goodness, trades back and forth crap. Yeah, the, their neutral is just insane because they're just like so many people going down back and forth, but it never truly moves forward yet because they. They just, they're like the last member or two always managed to stay alive long enough for the rest of the team to get back in every time. Crazy stuff as we see some strikes stop and early push from Element ERM. The Zuka is picked down. as their shot player is rolling through here, trying to get on Dude, forcing Dude to jump back. 
And now they have a crab on left stack, which is huge for our play holding this left check here. Into a Zuka, they might just get this check here at this point. You know what they call that crap? Is they call that Zuka City, that top left <laughs> portion of, of Mako Mart there, because it can so often remove enemy backline. As we see, they lose that left side, so they're not quite able to get this push underway anymore. We're back to neutral again. Yeah, and as someone who's been playing Zuka since launch, I could say my first opportunity is always get Zuka and Zuka to top left. Because yeah. the top left is not clear, you're not getting that checkpoint. Oh, yeah, you, you're a lifelong resident of Zuka City, just like me. I, hey, that's why you got the shot from Ren there. That's exactly. Awesome. As we Zuka. still remain in neutral, we got strikes ready on the side of Element ERM. This is going to be all about special play, right? Whoever's able to get the most value, the shot will go down from Neokyo. Two, one traded Ooh, back out. That. Still numbers as Lana's looking to push that tower. Not a squint caster anymore, but a powerful ZNF presence. They're looking to take the lead here. I think ZNF is very strong in this map due to having strikes and then just like Charger would have done positioning on the stacks and control so much. On top of them having wall, it's very hard to poke them. Oh, we hear the cheers for the wipeout from Neo Kyo. And Mancraft, every time that some team starts to get their footing, there's a crab on one side. There's strikes on one side coming out and just shutting it down because this lead's about to flip, but these numbers are still so small halfway through the game. Yeah, they're barely even getting this checkpoint here because there's just so many specials able to shut down the tower so well or shut down pushes. Now that we just have dude up for Neo Kyo going for a flank, we'll try and find one only able to get one, which is not going to keep advantage for Element ERM. The strikes came out. It's a crucial special cycle here to try and get a stagger here as No is going to come out, pushing back Sigrex, who gets a clean pick that could try and flip the tower back. I think that pick was huge here because it seems like they're snowballing off of it and leads to a wipeout. Now they would just need to get their own specials just to keep them locked out to get this first checkpoint. So Kraft, you can't go too fast here. So walk us through, what do you have to do when you have a defensive stop like that? When you get a defensive stop like that, the first thing you do is paint mid, and after that, you have at least a mid or a long range weapon holding right stack, because they get crossfire for your teammates that are going left, especially if you have an AOE. Go left underneath that ledge, and the right side, either they can pop a crab, or let's say they have like, a, like a black, they're a backliner, like a pencil, or maybe even like a mid range weapon. They can also just help crossfire onto that top left area because you really need that top left to be able to get that checkpoint. One of the crucial spots on this map is we see, hey, Neo Kyo is winning fight after fight after fight. They go one down there, some strikes, but the pressure is on Element ERM to try and make a push as we approach this final minute. And they do get numbers. This dude is pushing in on the stack. Oh, Huge some terrific fall -off. Fall -off. He doesn't need to know where they are. He's <laughs> just going to assume doing some calculus over there as Jas will try and roll in to try and neutralize things here. But man, crap, what does ERM have to do to get back in this one? The RM really needs to help clear their sloshers out at this point. Because just the AoE potential, like even if they're underneath like the left drop, being able to control that, the sloshers can just clear that, especially a tri slot. Could just swing to clear that out, and they just have to watch the enemy specials. Because one crab or one Zooker or one strike can shut down their whole push. Close to the lead here is ERM getting two down. They gotta stay on this tower cleanly. Sigrex is the last one here. They get a nice pinch with Milana on the end zap. This is a crucial 1v1 against the Duelies. Diving they around, win get the Duelies cleanly. They're so close to flipping this lead if they can. Oh my goodness, Lana is stuck one here. It will meme. get stumped by Neo Kyo with 15 seconds to go. The one point meme continues. <laughs> oh my god, I love behind. it. As it looks like we may see overtime here, but hey, ERM is going to have a double again for Neo Kyo, putting out those strikes a little early, but the crab yeah, is crab able is to out. find the Sharker, and Neo Kyo ties this set up at one. Wow, that was a very close game there, seeing as we had the classic Splatoon one point meme. We've all been there. We thing. love it. Hey, it's a curse, right? Yeah. How many times does it happen? And you just get in your own head about the possibilities. What yeah. could go wrong? What could right? you have done? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, maybe I could have lived here. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have dropped there. Could have gotten a special. Maybe they could have backed off because, you know, like both the Slosher just kind of ran out towers said AoEing it. But, like, it's kind of hard for them to do a lot there because all they really could do is, like, try to bomb them out and hold space. Yeah. It's a tough position to be in, and hey, that's why that's such a powerful choke on that map for a reason. You kind of have to have a plan going into it as far as how you're going to approach it, and it looks like Neo Kyo's plan was a little bit better there. Yeah. I think they had a way more solid comp, too, for that kind of map. Oh, yeah. Hey, we were talking about beforehand, what does Element ERM need to do to uh, go with the bucket? Element ERM didn't make an adjustment. 
and Neo Kyo added another bucket. They so that's why we down. saw them win there. Yeah. Now, talking about comp, I want to hear your thoughts. Undertow Rain, what changes do we see here? You can't bring double bucket here, right? I, don't, I wouldn't say so. One would be pretty good, but also at the same time, I think weapons with splash wall are very strong here, or even swords, although I don't think there's any sword players in this set, because this is a very flat map. Really, you're like pushing up one ramp when you're going up that left check. But other than that, all of mid and then after that check is just super flat. Yeah. So like wall weapons, swords, just anything that clear flat areas well help a lot with that. AoE does help a lot too for somewhat mid or just like poking to what I like to call donut that like yeah. semi-circle grates are like up there, but... C just something like a CRB would be perfect there, right? You yeah, know? especially so with know. Kraken. Yeah, if Neo Kyo has that in their back pocket, that could help. But you mentioned wall weapons being successful here. Well, Element ERM has one of the most famous uh, players of a wall weapon in the scene with that SRB2 dude, and he's been tearing it up so far. Dude has been a key player for their team so far. Even when they're like negative player numbers compared to the other team, dude will just somehow clutch up and just bring it back to neutral each time. It's kind of crazy to see, right? Like he's taken flanks that I never would, but it's it's like, it's it's all about being able to back up the move that you make, right? And he knows if I flank, they're not gonna get me. I'm gonna get a two for one. I'm gonna <laughs> flip this back to neutral, back to advantage. He knows he can do that, so he knows he can make that play. It's exciting to see. Exactly. And even, especially for a map like this, I think they could get away with running double wall if they wanted. Although I think they have pulled out a vac here instead. Interesting, as we see the flip back to the duelies for Neo Kyo. This is exciting. Lana, we've seen playing a different charger each time. Do you think the VAC is the right pick for Rain? VAC, I think, can be a very strong pick for Rain, but at the same time, Strikes can also do a pretty good job of clearing the top left area from a distance. So it's really a hard pick here. Like I'd say for clearing the top left, like Strikes works better, but once you're in there, VAC helps you get even further. So it really depends what you're going for in a comp. Although I think they might get the check one already. Looks like they are, Kraft. They barely were able to clear it, which is crucial to do with so much time left in the game. That was a 30 second check. That's actually huge for their team to have already. We love that, uh, powered by that early double, but now it's Neo Kyo who's able to get the double back. Milana grabbing just to try and stall here, but it looks like it's gonna be Neo Kyo's turn to push. Yeah, I think they're gonna they have three specials up now. I think they're just gonna get back in the mid and just start training specials together. Here comes the Zuka and a cooler. And now they still have, here comes more strikes too. Here we go. But one will go down for Neo Kyo and a terrific snipe by Lana to kind of flip it back the other way. Uh, but Jass is trying to charge up this crab. Lots of specials coming out for ERM. Dude trying to find somebody with the whale. Lana with the back to try and guide Milana forward as, oh, the Duelies are gonna say something about it. Somehow getting out of that back hitbox to stop the rain. Yeah, I think it's because the back was looking up slightly. The Duelies were able to shoot underneath of it, which is a crucial stop for them. Otherwise, I think they could have made it to like 30 or 40. I agree, but hey, they've been getting stuck at this check for a while. Crap, what, what do you do? What's your Surefire special or weapon to power through? Well, you see where the Rainmaker is right there? I stand about there and shoot a Zuka up into the high <laughs> ground, because usually anyone standing there is usually just splatted. It's Zuka closer. City 2.0, Yeah, right? that yeah. area is like, you hear a Zuka pop, you want to get off there as fast as possible, because you are probably cooked on the city if you oh, yeah. Zuka up there. <laughs> hey, that's a favorite place for backlines to stand, and a favorite place for backlines to get picked by Zuka. As we see No coming out here, do they have a target? One, two, three, didn't Sad seem like it, so a Sadly, uh, the other team seemed more out of range for that Zuka, so yeah. they seem to push the back a bit more. Yeah, but hey, I mean, then they go two down once again, three down. Four and down. Element ERM is getting a clean wipe. We've seen Neo Kyo a little bit more passive on this one. Sigrex and Dude, that good frontline team poking. Dude, a little bit overextended. Their team two down. I don't think they'll get a pass 42 here. No, it's not looking like they will. This Duelies has it covered. The Zuka is going to go down. I think they're just going to take their specials to mid and just try to hold the mid again. But then again, LME DRM has just been surviving every special Ouroboros throws at them. And that's just been crucial to just holding mid this whole time. Because even two, three specials going off, they have not been able to break their mid at all. It's pretty powerful, but a two-man advantage for Neo Kyo now. So this is their time to push. It's still a lot of game left to play with two minutes remaining. Yeah, they have plenty of time. And here comes another Zuka. I think they're just going to try to make their way slowly toward the left check. But it just seems like the bucket goes down. They have lost strikes. I don't think they can 
push that. That push is now gone. Yeah, just the shot left is coming back out, so that's a long wipe. And I mean, this is a clinic that we're seeing from Elman Irem. But no, the shot will drop. You were already in disadvantage. You cannot drop there as they're staggered now. Sigrex is going to be trying to find another pick, but Irem just bought themselves like 20 seconds of time from that. Yeah, Elman Irem is making huge time on this map. The Gal is definitely part of it, but honestly, they're just playing their specials and their lives a lot better. Oh, and Leona Leona is, is looking for more than 42. Getting a Rainmaker pick, trying to dodge around, will get picked there. Able to tick off three more points, and things return to neutral for now. Although Neo Keo has gone two down, I think they're going to get more points here. Now, what are your thoughts on the remastered Urch, or not Urch and Underpass, showing my age there. <laughs> nice kill by No. What are your thoughts on removing the glass there? Like, dislike? I think it's so much better, honestly, because like the glass gets so awkward because there's like, all right, you practically need the white them to even have a chance of KO for getting good points because you're just stuck kind of just running there. And I mean, cooler would help because of the run speed, but just being able to swim through it as soon as I saw it on the map, I was like, wow, this Undertow just went from like C or D tier to me to like maybe an A tier map, honestly. Oh, yeah. Even like zones, I like zones a lot better now, honestly. I yeah. think it's like decently playable. I don't know how many people will agree with me on that one now. But. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, we'll check the chat after and see if uh, yeah. what their thoughts on it are. As Lana is trying to flip a big advantage in numbers here for Element ERM with only 12 seconds to go. Milana will grab, looking to probably stall with under 10 seconds. Strikes coming out from Luckyo. As, oh, five seconds, they go two down, and that should be the set for Element ERM taking a two to one set. And they start off 1 0 in their pool. Yeah. Very good start to have in your first pool. I'd say you always want to at least like, start with a win so you have a safety net. And especially for tiebreakers, you want to, even if you lost, at least get the one win because tiebreakers could come down to how many total game wins you have. And I've seen so many teams, even like Gridlock last year, my friend's team, well, the teammates I was playing with today, they had a four different four crab. They made it in the top cut solely because they had one extra total win over another wow. team. Wow. Sometimes that's all it takes. It's a game of inches, folks.